It looks like a cigarette, but it really isn't, but it does have nicotine, but no tobacco and no tar. Several different brands are being sold in those kiosks you see at the local malls. And so health reporter Ali Gorman got on the case, and what is it? Is it healthy? What's the deal? And that's what we went to doctors to talk about. We talked about one of these electronic cigarettes. It's called the Safe Cig. It is legal where cigarettes are banned. We went to see what smokers think and if doctors think products like this can really help people trying to quit. It's like the real thing. Smoker Christopher Simpson says he doesn't want to get cancer, so he's turning in his conventional cigarettes for this electronic cigarette called the Safe Sig. It's 99% water. 1% nicotine. Co-owner of the Safe Sig, Jonathan Deke, says the battery-operated device gives the sensation of smoking. It delivers nicotine. But you're not getting all the carcinogens, the tars, the poisons that are in cigarettes today. And because there's no tobacco, Deke says it's legal to smoke any electronic cigarettes where smoking is banned. You see, the smoke isn't really smoke, but vaporized water. Dr. Richard Wender, family doctor at Jefferson University Hospital and past national president of the American Cancer Society says the products have promise. Anything that gets you off real cigarettes is a good thing for your health. I'd rather stop before it's too late. I think this is the way to go. I'd be receptive. I'd try it. That'd be even better. I mean, if there was a way to have a, a better cigarette, then yeah, absolutely. I'd definitely try that. Without getting, you know, all those other toxins, yeah, that would be great. My family would love it. I definitely think it would benefit everyone's lives. You know, I have family members that don't smoke, and so I know that secondhand smoke does affect them. You know, you didn't get smoke in everybody's face. Yeah, absolutely. I try it. I would like it because being the only non-smoker in my family, you know, I wouldn't have my hair full of smoke, my clothes full of smoke, and everything else. Ultimately, I would rather not smoke, but if this could change my, my habits and prevent me from going outside in the weather and giving off secondhand smoke and taking extra chemicals into my body, I mean, sounds like it would affect me in a positive way.